Hi, boys and girls. Hi, everybody. How are you? Happy Monday. That's right. Another week has started. Uh, this week, we decided to do something a little fun. We are going to do a scavenger hunt for you. Oh, I'm, I'm excited, but I'm a little nervous, too. Why are you nervous? I don't know. Maybe I'm not going to be able to find something that I need. Oh, I think you'll find it all. We are going to hunt our houses for five items, and then we will turn it over to you guys, and you can do the same on a flip grid. Sounds like fun. Okay, are you ready? I think so. Okay, so our first item is something that starts with a letter C. All right, something go else. find it. Okay. but I think I have to take you to it. I don't think I, oh. <laughs> I found my cowboy hat. I see. <laughs> I see you did. You know, you I should have packed this on our vacation trip, but I completely forgot about it. You should have, because we would have been quite the pair with our oh, hats. No. Oh, that's funny. Well, I have to take you to my C thing. Okay. okay. Don't mind the bumping around, because... This, oh, I don't know if I can even turn the camera around. Oh, can you see it? These are my plants. But this, Oh, what kind of plant is it, Mrs. Pollock? That is a cactus. Do you see how tall it is? Wow. Oh, wow. See how tall it is? That is very tall. Very tall. Let's see, if I go like this, can you see the whole thing? Yes. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, that's my letter C. All right. Cactus. All right, I'm going to take my cowboy hat off. Well, I think you should wear that for the rest of the video. Oh, all right, I'll keep it on. I didn't think you really would. All right, what's the next one? Um, the next one is, well, you kind of have it already. I hope you weren't planning on doing a twosie. Find something that's red. Ooh, okay. All right, ready, go. Oh. Okay, I got it. All right, I have a red notebook. It's actually Avery's notebook that she does school in. Oh, I like that. Red peppers. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I could come up with, but I have a whole bowl full if you'd like. A whole you know, bowl full of, pepper. wow, that's a lot red. of red peppers. There you go. Okay, red. Okay, our next item is, what did we say? A, a 3D shape, right? Yes, 3D okay. shape. Okay, go. go. Okay, I think mine would be considered a sphere, right? It is. Yes. And yours good. is a cylinder. Oh, nice. As a matter of fact, these are those whiteboards I ordered for us. Oh, even better. This uh, actually is Avery's, and it held her LOL doll. Oh, fun. I but it is also a sphere. It is a sphere. Okay. Go ahead, say hello. Hi, Avery. Okay, now you gotta go. So the next thing we should find um, should be heavier than a shoe. Yes. But easy to pick up. Yep. All right. Go. All right. Go. Got it yet? Oh, she's not back yet. I'll be first. <laughs> Are you ready? I am. I got. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Good old Barbie camper, a little bit heavier. It would also fall under the category of C. Yes, it would. It would. Very good. Well, I have nothing elaborate like Barbie campers, but I have a can of pineapple juice. Nice. Which is also a 3D shape, a cylinder. You're right. And it starts with the letter C. And you know, Disney released their recipe for their Dole Whip. Love that. Have you you could use your it? can of pineapple to make that. I'm going to have to do that. Okay, and then the last one? our last, I think so, our last okay. one is a book, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Did you bring a kid book? A well, kid I went book? back to the classroom a couple weeks ago and stole some of my books. And okay. this one was the 
Caldecott winner and I love it. It's so good. Awesome. It's one of my favorites. I have a kid book and a grown up book. So have you read the Wayside School books? I think back when I was Little. When you were probably when you were little, right? Because yeah. when I was a younger teacher, Wayside School is falling down was like a favorite, and this is their new one. It's Wayside School beneath a cloud of doom. I was gonna say it looks new. It doesn't look like the ones that I read. Yeah, no, it's brand brand new. And then this is a book I'm a grown up book that I'm reading, and it's really good. You'll probably like it, Mrs. Van Duzer. I'll share it with you when I'm done. I'll have to borrow it. Have you read that one? No, I haven't. Okay, cool. I'm enjoying it. All right. Well, <laughs> we, we better hope you enjoyed. This our items of our scavenger hunt. I know, thank goodness. I'm, I'm kind of out of breath, so it's probably good that we're sitting. <laughs> I know, so am I. <laughs> that was fun. I can't wait to see what the kids come up with. Me too, and I love seeing their videos. It's always nice to see them again. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, so do you want to screen share the calendar, or did you want me to do it? Whatever you want. Go for what it. You go? I'll go for it. Okay, hopefully I have it up here. All right, so I'll share my screen, and hopefully I have the calendar there. Oopsie, am I, oh, I have to hit the share button, don't I, Mrs. Van Duzer? There we go. <laughs> okay. So, I am searching for it. There it is. Maybe. There it is. So, here's our calendar for the week. I think, I am getting used to this computer, Mrs. Van Duzer. And it's loading, and I hope I have the right week. Yes, it is already April 20th. Can you believe wow. that? No, I, I can't. That unbelievable to think about. Anyway, I'll go into math first, if you don't mind. Of course. All right, so this week for math, we are diving into 3D shapes, and tomorrow you'll get to see a lesson on understanding 3D shapes, and then later on Thursday, that's when you're going to be using some blocks, hopefully, if you have them, to build some shapes. But if you don't have blocks, it's okay, because I found a great online app that you can use to build shapes with. Oh, that's how wonderful. Many of you, how many of them, them, I wonder, know that it's Earth Day this week? Do you oh. think the kids know? I think they might know. I think they probably do. But anyway, Earth Day is on Wednesday. So we've got science taking over math and science on Wednesday and some Earth Day math on Tuesday. Um, Mrs. Van Duzer, do you want to tell them about reading? Sure. So reading this week, uh, we're going to have some of the same lessons, very similar um, to last week, where on Monday, we're going to start out with summarizing. We're still using those topics of either water bottles or zoos, you guys, whichever one you chose. We're going to learn to annotate some articles. We're going to gather all our information, and then you're going to learn how to argue correctly. So that should be a little fun. Um, down below uh, for writing, you have a choice to do the persuasive writing about roller coasters. Mm -hmm. And then in social studies, we're going to learn about why the Aztecs fell. Sounds like a fun week. And I bet you that they're probably kind of curious about Friday. I would think so. Friday looks pretty fun. It does look pretty fun. So on Friday, Mrs. Van Duzer and I are going to take you on a virtual field trip. Now we're not going to tell you where we're going, but we want you to enjoy an hour with us on a virtual field trip. You don't need a permission slip, which is great. You oh, thank goodness. To, I know, right? You don't even need to pack a bag lunch. All you need, you can show up in your pajamas but we will take you out of the school building, out of the home learning environment into someplace really cool on Friday. That sounds like a lot of fun. Sound like fun? Mm -hmm. You mind if I show them a few things on math lessons? And no, then go ahead. Over to you? Yep. Okay. Oh, I might be turning it back to you anyway, because, all right, Mrs. Van Duzer, you have to help me here. I'm using yes, my son. Hit the escape key. I am. There it goes. I just wasn't hitting it hard enough. Thank you. You're such a good teacher. All right, let me move us out of the way. So this week I had all set up something for science. We're going to be working on a choice board. And I just wanted to show you one part of the science choice board. I know I said I was going to show you math, but I'm showing you science anyway. When you go to the science choice board this week, see these X's? It's kind of like tic-tac-toe. You can drop them over whatever it is you choose to do for science. You do not have to do three in a row, but I just wanted to show you that you could move those around like that. The other thing I wanted to show you was on our um, 3D shape lesson. When you go there, I really would encourage you to watch this video first, and then you can hop through the different slides in, in the lesson. 
I think that's all I really wanted to show them, but I will stop sharing and give it back to you so that you can show the kids whatever you feel that is important. Okay. Um, well, I don't know if I'm going to share my screen this time, okay. just I'll because my reading lessons are pretty much similar to last week, the same living, living room classroom lessons mm -hmm. you've been watching. And then I also have the extra sound bites in there too, for you to listen to. Um, and I'm going to work on a video to get you guys some more books. There's a new website I found called Tumble Books and Tumble Team, I believe it is. Uh, they have a lot of graphic novels that you can access immediately by just putting in a username and password. So once I get that up, I will share that in Google Classroom. Okay, that sounds great. You're finding a lot of great ways to get books into the kids' hands. Or trying. And don't forget, you can always watch the bedtime stories. Uh, Mrs. Pollock was on last week. I am going to be on on Tuesday, and then I think there is a surprise coming the following week. I think it is, right? I think it is. The end of April. Mm -hmm. Gosh, the end of April already. Wow. That's great. Are you going to tell us what book you're reading this week, or is it a secret? Oh, it'll be a secret. You got to wait. Okay. Wait until Tuesday. Okay. Got a lot of secrets this week. We got to wait until mm -hmm. Tuesday to find out your book. Got to wait till Friday to find out where we're going. But it should be a good week. Yep. All right, boys and girls. Well, if you need us, you are doing a really good job of emailing us and commenting on Google Classroom. So keep that up. And I think they're all doing a really good job of checking in every day too. I agree. It's been really nice to see people consistently doing that. Yes. And, and it helps us to plan for their future. It does. All right. All right. We'll see you soon. Well, enjoy this great day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.